are providing only 20% video as a part of promotion. For remaining 80%, that is 6 to 8 articles, current affairs video, NCERT videos and general studies complete videos, please subscribe to our complete package. 1. Declaration of Kurdish Federation in Syria is a step pushing Syria again into the war? Who are Kurds? GS Paper 2 Effect of Policies and Politics of Developed and Developing Countries on India's Interests, Indian Diaspora Why recently in news? Syria's Kurds on Thursday declared a federal region in areas under their control in the north of the conflict-hit country. The U.S., a key backer of Kurdish fighters in the battle against the Islamic State (IS), has also warned that it would not recognize any self-ruled Kurdish region within Syria. Declaration of Kurdish Fed in Syria is a step pushing Syria again into the war? Both the government and an opposition coalition rejected the move by Kurdish. A federal region in northern Syria is sure to anger Turkey, which considers the Syrian Democratic Union Party or PAID, as a terrorist group. Its military wing, the People's Protection Units, or YPG, leads the fight against Islamic State extremists in Syria. The move has complicated peace talks in Geneva aimed at ending the five-year civil war. A federal region could be a first step toward creating an autonomous region similar to the one Kurds run across the border in Iraq, where their territory is virtually a separate country. It could also usher in similar demands for federal regions elsewhere in Syria and in effect lead to a partition of the war-shattered country. The Istanbul-based opposition national coalition warned against any attempt to form entities, regions, or administrations that usurp the will of the Syrian people. Thus no wonder if the Syria turns hot war zone again. Who are Kurds? Kurds are the largest ethnic minority in Syria, making up more than 10% of the country's pre-war population of 23 million. They are centered in the impoverished Haseke province, wedged between the borders of Turkey and Iraq. Syria's Kurds have dramatically strengthened their hold on northern Syria during the civil war carving out territory as they battle to drive out Islamic militant fighters allied to the rebellion and declaring their own civil administration in areas under their control. 2. Agriculture Top Priority for Adisha GS Paper 3 Issues Related to Agriculture Why Recently in News Adisha government presented its annual budget allocating 20% more funds to the agricultural sector compared to the previous year. In the last one year, the state has witnessed at least 174 farmer suicides over crop failure. The outlay for the agriculture sector is about 14.02% of the total budget. Why have Adisha's farms turned into killing fields for those who tilled them? The reason for farmer suicide have remained the same over the years, crop failure, indebtedness, the inability to continue farming due to illness, loss of prestige and self-esteem after being forced to work as laborers following the failure of crops, and domestic problems arising out of poverty. Farmers have been especially distressed last year after the Karif crop in at least 16 districts were severely impacted due to scanty rainfall in July and August. About 5.23 lakh hectares of cropped area has suffered damage to the extent of 33% or more. Is the pattern of farm distress and suicide similar to that seen in Maharashtra or Andhra Pradesh? Most farmers in Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra grew cash crops, 
and had huge loans to repay when they killed themselves. The dish her farmers hardly grow cash crops and generally do not have large loan burdens on their heads. However, extortionate rates of interest charged by money lenders is seen as one of the major reasons driving farmers to despair this year. Present State of Agriculture in Adisha Of the state's 4.2 crore people, more than 80% are farmers. Of the 43.56 lakh operational land holdings, 86.15% are marginal and small holdings, less than 2 acres. It is, therefore, not difficult to see why poverty continues to dominate agriculture. The state's budgetary provisions for agriculture has grown from Rs 343.46 crore in 2005-06 to Rs 10,903.62 crore in 2015-16, with a separate agriculture budget for the last three years, but the rate of growth of agriculture has been erratic. Farm growth was 12.3% in 2012-13, followed by a negative growth rate of 18.12% in 2013-14 due to cyclone failing and flash floods. According to National Sample Survey Organization, 70th round. The average monthly income of a farmer family in Adisha was as 4,976, well below the national average of as 6,426. Natural calamities have been a recurrent feature of the last 55 years of the state's history. Only 15 have been free of disasters. Regulated market cooperatives hardly work and very few farmers get the minimum support price of paddy, Rs 1,410 per quintal, even though they spend about Rs 22,000 per acre for cultivating the crop.